Hello everyone, this is Catalina from TheGroomingToReality.com. Welcome to the From This To That Show, where I'm gonna show you how to use regular shapes, text, and just very simple things to make beautiful designs that are going to make your projects look so beautiful. You're gonna be able to personalize them as much as you want because you now have the power. <laughs> yes, you do. I just, I have a teacher's heart. I want you to enjoy your machine so much and I want you to use it to the most potential. Let's go to Cricut Design Space to see what we're gonna be doing today. In today's video, I'm gonna teach how to make this beautiful heart out of words that are meaningful to you, the name of your kids, your grandkids, your dog, or something that is important to you, a sport, a hobby, crafting, I don't know, that's for you to decide. It's not gonna look the same because just like you, I'm starting it from the beginning. Let's go to a clean canvas and let's get started. This is my clean canvas and the way I like to start designing something is with the end in mind. First, we know that we wanna use a heart. I'm gonna put my heart here from shapes and I'm gonna turn it white. I like that contrast better and I'm gonna unlock the proportions here to see if I can make the heart a little bit kind of more like chunky. I like that. That's perfect for me. You can also leave it just as it is and I'm going to lock the proportions again. Now I'm gonna type the words that I that I want to use in my heart. First I'm gonna type all the words that I care for. Do one word per line. This is what I'm going to use, but be free to use anything that is meaningful to you. I'm going to make this smaller so you can see better. I just finished a list of words. Most likely I'm going to add or delete as I go, but this is what it first came to mind. While you design something, you can change your mind as you go. Nothing is static. Everything changes and sometimes you're going to see me go back and forth, back and forth. And that's normal. Don't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm just wasting time. No, you're learning, you're learning and that's really good. When you have all your words, we want to be able to edit them one by one because we wanna fit them in our heart. But I'm going to select my text, click here on advanced, and I'm going to select the option ungroup two lines. When I ungroup two lines, I'm gonna be able to edit every single word. You see, that's amazing. I'm gonna save my project because I don't wanna lose it. My project is saved and I recommend you do the same and save every five minutes or so. We are going to find three different fonts. Sometimes we wanna use tons of fonts, but I usually stick with three in a project because it balances out. You don't want everything to be super shiny. You want a really good hand letter font, one that is a little bit more serious per se, in one that is also a fan font. You wanna be able to have like that contrast. And let me tell you that picking the right fonts is what is gonna take you the most time. Pairing fonts is not an easy job. As you keep designing, you're gonna get way better at it. I'm gonna see how long I'm gonna take to pick fonts and then I'll let you know. Keep in mind too that some of the fonts that I use are premium fonts that I buy on creativefabrica.com or on font bundles. Those are my two favorite websites. But you can also use Cricut fonts or your own system fonts. Online you can download tons of free fonts as well, but since I do it for commercial use, I have to buy a license for them. Be creative and use what you have on hand. Oh, I want to stop this for a minute. You also want to look all the fonts here. So uncheck only current fonts because we want to be able to look at all of them. And I keep forgetting them. Finally, 
I found the fonts that I wanted to use for this project. You see, it took me a while. I'm gonna leave on the screen the amount of time that it took me. So don't feel weird if it's taking you a long time. It's just a long process. The fonts that I picked were, and I may change my mind too, so this is not definite. It's DTC Peach Cakes. This one is DJ Jair, and this one is called After Grows. These two are Cricut fonts, the first two, and this one is Premium font. Now that I picked my three fonts, I'm going to change these other words for the font I want. There is nothing special about it. Just go with your God, whatever word you feel. It will go better with a certain font. Use that. Finally, I changed the fonts of all my letters. And something that I was thinking about is that you can do three blocks of text and then pick three fonts. You know, there's so many ways to do things. And as you work, you're gonna find ways that you could be more efficient next time. And I bring all these letters here. In fact, I'm just going to align them to the left. It's gonna be a giant mess, but I'm just going to be picking random letters. And I'm gonna zoom in here. And I have all my letters here and I want everything to be black. So I'm gonna select everything black and we'll change colors later on. The way I like to start is to find words that go well in these curves. I think that motherhood, for instance, will go great around here. So I'm gonna kind of like rotate it. And now I'm gonna curve it like the little thing so you can find kind of like the perfect way to do it and keep rotating until we kind of find the perfect area i'm gonna put it more over here let's see this is just how it goes i am in a curve you see that curve is not working here don't be scared it's very easy to fix open the text box and just backspace once and then finish writing the word escape done feeling the words in my heart as you could see i changed the size of the fonts multiple times for instance motherhood the first time i resized it it was huge it was all the way here but then as i went i kept resizing everything all of this is part of the designing process it just takes time However, we're not done yet. Let's see how our letters look when we hide the heart. I think it looks pretty good, don't you think? There's like some empty spots over here. Anytime I design something, I like all the spaces to be filled. Let's turn on the visibility again. You can add very tiny little words here, but what, what I like to do is to add small circles and stars to fill my my project i'm gonna save again and can you see that i words into here <laughs> works into hard sorry and i'm gonna add a couple of things that would look good and even other tiny little hearts and that's perfect let's make everything super itty bitty super little we just want very little details Okay, I'm gonna put a little heart here and a little star right here. And then just rotate it. Um, 
once I add and then after this I just keep copying and pasting for instance I'm gonna do a little circle copy paste and I'm gonna move it and place it on spots that I think will look good Let's see if we can find a little image of like a little teacup or coffee cup. I'm gonna select these two and then see what I like better. Images. See what would look better here. Oh, that looks kind of cute, doesn't it? Gosh, I love it. Then we try to find a little pizza too. I like that. Let's use this one. Let's make it tiny, tiny. Mm, I think we have to find a little chocolate to go over here as well. change the color to black and let's resize it and make it fit in here. so cute don't you think oh my gosh i just love it so so much are you ready for the great reveal let's hide the heart look at that beautiful design you did that you did that you really did you see you don't have to be an expert you just need a little guidance here and there of how to get that creativity going i really like it like from here for instance i would move this little heart and like this I, I just absolutely love it so much i really love the little coffee here the chocolate here the pizza here I think it's just wonderful. It's even better than the original, don't you think? Okay, now that we worked really hard to keep, to make our words into a beautiful heart, select everything and group it, make a copy and duplicate it. Now, one of the copies we're just gonna hide it in case you wanna go back and edit some words. Let's say you have another baby and you wanna add an extra kid. You don't have to start from the beginning. You will wanna organize the files so you can use it later on. A lot of the times we would click on weld. However, the design will lose some of the details. Like for instance, if I click here on weld, for some reason, the software glitches, like look at the chocolate bar, some of the letters, instead of being a little space here is completely filled, the same here on coffee, it's just annoying. So instead of welding, I'm gonna go back, select all and attach. And now you can click on make it and everything will be on a mat and then you can, use it for an iron-on project and put it on a t-shirt or things like that. You want this project to be rather big because it has so much small details. So it's something to keep in mind. And yes, this is a large project. We used a lot of things. <laughs> I'm gonna select on mat here and look at everything is on a single spot. Wasn't that design super beautiful? I mean, I love it and I am so happy that I get to teach you how to make it. Please, 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 if you do decide to do this tutorial, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Other than that, I'll see you on my next video. Bye.